these are actions which yet again highlight uh, the hypocrisy of Canada towards freedom of speech. Canada blocking or banning Australia, the prominent outlet there, uh, Australia Today. Uh, yes, you have heard it correctly. We have also seen that the, or we've been, we understand that uh, the social media handles and pages of this particular outlet, which is an important diaspora outlet has been blocked and are not available for viewers in Canada. This happened just hour or so, a few hours after uh, this particular handle carried the press conference of External Affairs Minister along with Penny Wong. And the particular media outlet also had several articles on the visit of the External Affairs Minister as also an interview of External Affairs Minister. So we were surprised. It looks strange to us. But nonetheless, what I will say that these are actions which yet again highlight uh, the hypocrisy of Canada towards freedom of speech. You would have said, you would have seen that uh, uh, EMN's media state media engagement interaction. He spoke about uh, uh, three things. One was Canada making allegations uh, and a pattern has developed without any specific evidence. Uh, second thing he highlighted was that uh, surveillance of Indian diplomats have been happening in Canada, which he termed as unacceptable. And then third thing which he highlighted was the political space which is being given in Canada to anti-India elements. So you can draw your conclusions uh, from that why uh, the Australia Today channel was blocked by Canada. Uh, what happened yesterday uh, at the Hindu temple in Canada was obviously deeply concerning. Uh, and uh, uh, you would have seen the statement first by our official spokesperson and also the expression of concern by our Prime Minister yesterday. Uh, so uh, that should, uh, I think, convey to you uh, how uh, deeply we feel about it.